ducks. Hi everyone, this is Land Speculation here live. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack. Land's walking and talking, live streaming, chat beating, and hoping to find our best view of duck land. The ducks keep on floating, feet paddling and quacking, some squabbling, come waddling toward us, land ducks. I've worked full time in porn. Fourteen and O. Oh. That was the record of the 2002 national champion Ohio State Buckeyes football team. We are walking along High Street. High Street is the main north-south boulevard in Columbus, Ohio, capital city of the state of Ohio. And we are doing a little tour, which will take us onto the campus of The Ohio State University. I'm going to show you the campus a little bit. Because we're on High Street, we're going to start by showing you a few of the things that are in the vicinity of campus here. High Street essentially is the eastern boundary of The Ohio State University campus. On the east side of High Street here, you see some new building projects, some condos, some bookstores, a lot of restaurants, and things like that. And further to the east, this direction, and actually to our south, is where most of the Ohio State fraternity houses are located. So Fraternity Row here at the Ohio State University is predominantly in the residential neighborhoods surrounding us here. So to our north and to our west, in the direction that we're walking is the bulk of the Ohio State campus. Now you can see there are developments like this. This is the Gateway Project, which is a little restaurant and retail complex. And then things like the First Watch restaurant here, a lot of restaurants that students frequent. So. Again, High Street is the main drag here of student activity. Now, it's very quiet right now. The students aren't on campus right now. I thought it would be useful to show you the campus when it's actually pretty quiet and empty. But High Street goes on for a long way. Ohio State University, or the Ohio State University, is the largest single campus university in the country in terms of student enrollment. With Tens of thousands of undergraduates. I think the number's around 49,000 uh, full-time students here on the campus. There's a Five Guys, pizzerias, lots of the kinds of stores that college students would frequent. And if the students were in class right now, or if they were if school's in session, High Street would be full of students coming out to get lunch and things like that. You find on a week on, on Friday nights at High Street gets pretty mobbed and heading back this direction on High Street behind us you can see a little bit of the downtown of Columbus, Ohio, which is a pretty, it's a, it's a good sized downtown for a city like this. Um, you got some Fortune 500 companies and things like that, um, but going that direction there's a lot of, kind of nicer restaurants and bars and things like that for students, grad students and the like. Now you're starting to see a little bit of the campus here. Everything kind of this direction uh, to our south is uh, part of what's known as South Campus. In fact, actually, some of this is South Campus as well. Uh, you're starting to see like the official kind of famous entry sign of the university here. I'm going to walk up just a little bit further to get to the main entrance to the school. But you see there's sort of a mix of older apartment buildings like this. And then some of these newer projects, which are increasingly increasingly um, appearing here along High Street. So in terms of student housing, you know, students can really 
you know, I think I think they try to put most of the freshmen on the campus. And there are several places on campus. We'll point out a few of those where students can live. But off campus, you know, there's the fraternities. There's some of these older apartment buildings. There's some newer, nicer condos. A lot of options. Here as we kind of get close to the main entrance of the campus, we have the law school here, the Moritz College of Law. It's a good law school uh, for a state university. It's a very good law school. Um, the graduate schools around Ohio State are, most of them are pretty good. Um, they're, they're all sort of integrated here with the main campus. Um, all of the, a lot of them, because they're so large, have their own little mini campuses within the larger campus. So at some point we'll point out like the Fisher College of Business, the Olentangy River, which is the kind of western boundary of the main part of campus. Um, it's kind of the dividing line between the main campus and everything to the west of it, which is mostly the ag, ag campus. Um, you know, veterinary science, agriculture, things like that. So now we're really getting into the heart of the campus. There's some music venues here that the stu students always enjoy, things like that. And then we're starting to approach here, just off of High Street, the Ohio Union. This is a massive student union that was built or at least renovated around a decade ago that is one of the most impressive student unions I've seen anywhere in the country. You can see even here with the students out of session, there are some bars here. This is the midway there that's kind of rocking right now. You would normally see a lot of students here. So you can hear the loud music. You can only imagine what this is like on a Friday night. There's some new projects getting built here. Yeah, there's the Ohio Union. We're not going to go in there right now. But you should check that out. Um, if you haven't seen the Ohio Union, a lot of spaces to sit and study, a lot of places to get food or drink. It's a pretty, pretty massive student union. Of course, everything for a university this large is pretty massive. Here's some more, you know, older, older apartment buildings. Looks like actually some of those have smaller businesses. There's like a Kaplan test prep, um, things like that. So, you know, the high street stretch goes on for a long time. There's another kind of bounding road to the north of the campus known as Lane Avenue. That has a few things on it as well. And you can see poking through there, kind of behind High Street, are some of the some of the buildings that turn into again off-campus housing, things like that. A lot of people kind of jumping around. This would be an Ohio State football Saturday, except that some of the games were canceled this year. Some parking garages. And we'll make our way onto the main part of campus here momentarily. So we're just about to kind of the main entry era, area of campus. Uh, here between uh, Solvent Hall and a few other buildings here. This is a large construction project. It's going to form sort of a new gateway here to campus across High Street. They knocked down a bunch of older buildings. Um, we're, what we're walking into right now is kind of the main, I would say sort of the main gateway into the campus. You can see here this kind of plaza with a lot of trees. Um, these two buildings on either side of us have pretty major auditoriums and things like that. So we're going to walk onto the campus here and you'll get a lay of the land here momentarily. So we've kind of walked off High Street now and we're going to actually enter the campus. 
so again it's 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 winter here so the obviously you know leaves on the trees uh it's a little bit more lush in the summertime and obviously again just a, a caveat on all this that the students are off campus right now so there are very free students around this building over here this kind of modern building is the wexner center for the arts it's a this is a, a kind of modern art museum uh designed by a famous architect named peter eisenman uh back in the early 1990s and it's you know kind of an interesting building it replaced the site of i guess an old water tower so it has this kind of exploding water tower element to it um but they do i guess events and shows and things like that it's a it's a little you know it's a small art museum but it has some modern art installations and uh, so as we walk past that, we're kind of, we're getting to the kind of the main entry point of Ohio State's campus here. And we're going to kind of show you this main public space. And every, every university has its main kind of central green space. Ohio State's really kind of knocks a lot of the others out of the park. So we start here at the university seal for the Ohio State University. And if you kind of look around, you can see this curving road that kind of wraps around this central area. So we're walking now into the Oval. The Oval is kind of the central quad, if you will, of Ohio State. It's kind of the academic quad. But it's because this university is so large, the Oval is absolutely massive. Um, it is a giant central green space here with paths crisscrossing in all directions. And it's surrounded by most of the university's main main central academic buildings. Um, you see that there's like a lot of buildings are older, some of the buildings are newer. It's a pretty diverse campus in terms of the look and feel of the place. It's not like, you know, an old Ivy League, all brick kind of thing. It's, it's a really diverse campus in terms of the look and feel. Um, this is a building called Hayes Hall over here. It's one of the older buildings on campus. I'm trying to remember if that may be the oldest building on campus. The university was founded in 1870 um, as, as a land-grant university and has grown, obviously, quite steadily since. Football started being played here at Ohio State in 1890. Um, you know, the university is it's not super old like an Ivy League school, but it also has a lot of history to it. Um, so you see some of the other academic buildings kind of wrapping around here. That building over there with the clock tower is known as Orton Hall. That is the clock tower that houses the campus chimes. So you've ever heard when they play Carmen, Ohio, the university alma mater, and they have the campus chimes at the beginning of the song, um, it's those Orton Hall campus chimes that you hear across campus. Now the Oval, of course, as you can imagine, is a very popular spot for students during the academic week, well, really during the whole week. They have student gatherings out here. Students come out to play Frisbee. They come and sit on the lawn to study when it's warm. Some trees. I think there are a couple Buckeye trees buried in here. And crisscrossing paths, obviously. So when students are crossing campus to get to their classes, um, there is a whole bus network for, for the really long journeys. But if students are just walking across campus, um, they cut across the oval here. There are always people sort of marketing and advertising student groups and the free hugs people and all that all those kinds of people are out here again without students on the campus right now nobody's here but this is kind of the place people would do it again this direction we have south campus this direction we have north campus north campus well both directions have a lot of housing and they have academic buildings north campus has the business school the architecture school a lot of the engineering disciplines are in north campus which is this direction. South Campus has some housing, has a whole separate kind of smaller green area that looks kind of like this. And then it also has um, kind of this direction is the whole Ohio State University medical complex and a lot of the medical research and things like that. Um, over here, this building is University Hall. I think that was rebuilt at some point, but it is the main administrative building of the university. It's where the university president's offices are. Um, that's kind of a, a main center point to the campus as well. As we kind of look back around, you can see those cranes back from High Street. And we're headed in the direction here 
of the University Library, which you can see ahead of us, um, which is one of the larger university libraries in the country, as you would expect for a university this large. It's been renovated numerous times, even in my lifetime. Now, Ohio State's so big, big that they have many libraries on the campus, but this is the main campus library. So you see a couple people walking around. Not many, but a few people walking around. Um, this is William Oxley Thompson statue. Um, he was one of the earlier and I think probably the best university president in history. Uh, served from what, 19, or 1899, 1925, he's university president. So he's got a statue here. You can see school spirit at Ohio State is an all-time high. Not an all-time high, it's just very high always. Uh, so William Oxley Thompson's name here, they've crossed out the M's because if this weren't a pandemic year and we didn't have games canceled, Ohio State would be playing their arch rival uh, in, in football this week. And there's a tradition here on the campus of basically deleting all of the M's from um, signage, street signs and the like. So there's the entrance to the library. You know, as you can see, it's a pretty big, pretty big campus library. Then there's University Hall, uh, that direction. So I'm just going to take you a little bit over this direction to show you. So here's the campus medical center you can see is over here. Um, you know, Ohio State's so big that it's a, it's a really big campus to traverse. Like I said, there's a bus system that takes people around. Um, all the students get to know that bus system very well. There are also bus systems to pe for people who work in the medical complex who have parking spots across the river. Parking is obviously a really complicated issue here. There are lots of places to park, but there's a very complicated system about how to get parking passes for different levels of parking. Um, there's a sort of private operator that runs all the campus parking and their tiers, A, B, C, uh, for the different lots around campus. So that gets pretty complicated. So you need to look into that if you're looking to bring a car to campus, but you might end up parking off campus and then there are shuttles that take you around. So um, as we mark, march, uh, we step off the oval here, we're looking down, down the hill here. There's not much topography in Ohio, it's a little bit here, um, at what they call Mirror Lake. So Mirror Lake is this uh, water body here, this little lake. They just recently renovated it and renaturalized it, but it's this nice little pocket of campus where you can come down and take a breather here, get some fresh air. Usually there's some ducks down here in nice weather, feed the ducks, um, relax a little bit. And uh, it's normally much more pleasant than this. Obviously the winter makes it a little bit uh, dark, but the lake itself has actually been drained partially. There used to be a tradition here where the week before the Ohio State-Michigan game, the students would come and jump into Mirror Lake uh, en masse, and they canceled that tradition a few years ago after, after one student passed away. So they don't let students do that anymore, but this is Mirror Lake um, here, which is kind of here between the Oval, again, the University Library, and then South Campus, again, is, is kind of ahead of us here. So across Mirror Lake, again, is the medical campus that direction. And there's a lot to the medical campus. There's a lot of research buildings. They've expanded that numerous times, as, as you would imagine. There's a few different academic buildings along here. You know, I see students kind of walking down um, that road, which is Neal Avenue which is another north-south arterial. Um, we're kind of looking across over to South Campus here. The building ahead of us is the Kuhn Honors and Scholars House. So Ohio State has an Honors and Scholars program for, um, uh, I guess, students that are admitted with you know really high test scores and things like that, and there's a little amphitheater behind. They have special events and programming for those students. You know, it's always tough to kind of make, make sense of a campus this large when you're a student. Those students, I think, get um, uh, kind of priority, um, I guess priority selection of classes and things like that. Uh, as we look across here, you're kind of looking into South Campus again. So, you know, you'll see them, a range of kind of high rise buildings back there, some of which are housing, um, both undergrad housing and grad student housing. Then you'll also see a fair number of academic buildings. Um, so, you probably would find with your class schedule that you might end up kind of going all over, all over creation to get to your various classes. And you got to figure out a way to do that. Um, again, a lot of students have bikes, although they tell you, you don't have to ride bikes through the oval. Um, obviously, a lot of students walk. Um, students take the, the university bus system, the shuttles. It's, it's really like living in a small, or in a, well, it's not even a small city. It's like a medium-sized city. 
you know, with approximately 50,000 students, it's a big place. But uh, within a big place, it's easy enough to find smaller pockets where you can kind of cultivate your kind of more intimate environs. So again, you see some more buildings going down that direction. Um, the, uh, the James Hart Hospital poking through there, that's the Hart Research Hospital. And now we're kind of walking through some of the academic areas. I've mentioned Neal Avenue kind of ends here into the campus. You see all the bike racks everywhere. Obviously a lot of students will be biking. Little cafes here. Many of the buildings across campus have little places to eat, little cafes. Even people who've been here four years probably don't worry about all of them, but there are a lot of them. And then, as we kind of go around the back side of the university library here, we're looking down essentially west of campus toward the Olentangy River. So you can see even more sort of green quad type spaces here. And the building over there, well, there's two buildings kind of immediately ahead of us. So there's the, the two high rises in the far background, which are the Lincoln and Morrill residential towers. And those are obviously relatively old now, but those are among the places students can live. Uh, those two towers are, are good places. And then here in the foreground, you see some of the glassy areas here. There's a uh, well, it's the student health center here in the foreground. And then in the, middle, in the middle, middle, there is the RPAC, which is the uh, student recreation center, which is enormous. Um, there are a million workout machines, running tracks, um, you know, basketball courts. There's a whole aquatic center there with several pools. Uh, you know, you can really get your money's worth working out there. Townsend Hall, you know, there's lots of these big academic buildings where a lot of the core classes here across the university happen. Um, again, there is University Hall. So we've now sort of crossed over the other side of the oval and we're looking in the direction of North Campus, which as I said, has a lot of additional academic programming, a lot of the engineering disciplines, I believe, are over this direction, uh, things of that sort. And there are central green spaces. There's also a lot of housing, the higher rise housing. They've replaced some of the older dormitories, but different people have different preferences on what they find most useful in the different housing areas. You're always going to have a different laundry situation, a different roommate situation, you know, how much space you get, how much common space you get, how big the windows are how close you are to your classes. There's all kinds of decisions to make about which housing to look at. So, you know, people end up being very loyal to North Campus or South Campus or things like that. Um, you're seeing poke out there just in the background, not the tall building, but the building behind that is part of the Fisher College of Business. So that's part of the North Campus. Again, North, several more blocks to an area called, or a street called Lane Avenue. You know, even doing a lengthy campus tour like this, I can't show you the entire campus because it's so massive. I believe that building houses, boy, some engineering building right there. There's these sort of famous smokestacks here. Um, we're walking down again by the RPAC. As we go downhill here, you can tell we're getting a little bit closer to the Olentangy River, which is the river that divides essentially the kind of main part of campus here, including all the academic stuff, most of the housing for the students, the medical center, etc., uh, from the other side of the river, which again is the uh, ag school, veterinary stuff, uh, some of the other sciences. There's a whole large athletic complex over there, a lot of the sports fields, the baseball stadium, the Value City Arena is across the river, um, and things of that sort. So a lot of students don't have reason to cr cross the river too often. Obviously, if you're in a program uh, where you need to, you probably will, will more. There are some other buildings over there, like the Alumni Center and the Fawcett Center that are across the river. A lot of university administration happens in some of those buildings. Um, almost every activity you would see at a normal university has a, has a very large facility here at Ohio State, again, because it's just such a massive place. 
And we're walking down here. Uh, we've kind of gone downhill. We're now a couple blocks off of the main part of the part of the oval. And you're starting to see a glimpse here of Ohio Stadium, which is the grand old football stadium dating back to 1922. Home of the Ohio State Buckeyes football team. Eight-time national champions. Now, Ohio State has 36 sports or some number like that of, of undergraduate sports, Division I. And they all get a lot of attention, but nothing quite like a football team here. On the left here, again, is the RPAC. That's the Giant Recreation Center, which any student can use. But Ohio Stadium is obviously on a Saturday in the fall going to be the epicenter of campus. Uh, 30,000 of the students come, and then the 110,000 people overall come to the football games here at Ohio Stadium. There is actually where the team runs onto the football field, down that tunnel. So uh, Ohio State football games, it's very quiet now, but Ohio State football games on a typical fall Saturday are pretty intense when they're at home. A lot of cars parked in the vicinity of the stadium, even despite there being no game. I wonder what's going on. see the press box poking through there. So we're just kind of walking by the stadium. The stadium is, as I said, very historic. It's kind of uh, designed to look like the Roman Pantheon on the other side. Um, kind of walking around the back, more modern side. Everywhere around campus you'll find these areas where there's lots of bricks and things like that with donors' names. Ohio State's obviously a massive operation and they are constantly soliciting donations from their alums. See some tennis courts here, uh, providing recreation facilities for the students. Obviously, is um, you know takes a lot of space. So some tennis courts and whatnot that separate this part of campus from the medical uh, school, the medical center. Uh, kind of this direction also is a major uh, kind of bus interchange. So if you're say parking across campus, taking a bus here onto campus, it'll probably let let you off somewhere in. On the other side of those tennis courts, there's a kind of big bus turnaround. And they tried to streamline bus operations in recent years to make it a little bit simpler for people. Um, so even if you're taking a bus in, you're probably still going to have to walk a ways once you're on the main campus here, as you can tell. Even from us walking around like this, um, you know, we've gone a half an hour here almost, and we've barely scratched the surface of the campus. So it's a very large campus, I guess is, you know, one of the main points. But a large school offers a lot of opportunities. The main campus is organized. You have the oval at the center. There's north campus, there's south campus, there's west campus across the river. Um, so you kind of end up breaking down the campus into these sort of smaller units where you might spend more of your time. Um, and it kind of depends what program you're in and what classes uh, are kind of occupying the majority of your time. This is the Buckeye Grove. It's a little tree grove that houses trees for each All-American football player. There's again these Lincoln and Morrill residential towers where some of the students live. I think a lot of the honors and scholars students live in these towers, if I recall correctly. Um, there's you know lots of bike racks. You can see even without students officially on campus right now, still a lot of bikes around. There's the stadium, kind of looking north, across those parking lots to the north. You have the French Field House, uh, the St. John Arena, some of the other athletic facilities. And then in that direction, there's also some additional dormitories that World uh, Holiday Inn converted into a dormitory. There's the Varsity Club uh, way up that way as well. Things of that sort. So, you know, a lot of things things up that way. Let's see, this football field over here is where the Ohio State University Marching Band does its outdoor practices. So if you've never seen the Ohio State University Marching Band, check them out. They are very impressive. Same as Script Ohio Formation and the like. Um, probably the best collegiate marching band in the country. And I'm just going to go a little bit further up ahead this way so I can show you the Olentangy River, 
which, as I said, is sort of the... We, we didn't show you the northern, really, or the southern boundaries of campus because that would take us a very long time, but we'll at least show you the... So we, were, we, we started on High Street, which is kind of the eastern boundary of the main part of campus, um, and we've kind of walked east-west across the campus through the Oval, pointed out some of the stuff on north and south campus. And we'll show you the river here. And look at a couple of the things over on west campus. So you can see ahead there, off in the distance, is the St. John Arena, which is the old basketball arena that was replaced by the Schottenstein Center in 1998. And there's the Schottenstein Center across the river there. You can see it poking out behind those trees. So that's the, the newer basketball and hockey arena. And there's some, a lot of other new athletic facilities to the north of the Valley City Arena. But I just wanted to point out here, there is the Olentangy River ahead of us. It's a, you know, it's, it's kind of a glorified creek, but again, it, it basically separates everything over this direction, which again is sort of more specialized sciences and things like that, a lot of parking. There are a few bridges across it, some pedestrian bridges like this one. And then there's sort of a bike trail take along the Olentangy River that goes a ways to the north. It'll take you all the way to downtown Columbus. So I'm not sure if we're going to get a slight glimpse of downtown looking this way or not. Downtown Columbus, so I want to say, what is it, probably two and a half miles to the south of the campus, maybe two miles. So, and there's city buses that run up and down High Street, so if you want to go downtown for anything, um, you know, it's easy enough to do. Of course, the High Street between downtown and the university is known as the Short North, which is really a cultural epicenter of Columbus. So, again, lots of bars and restaurants, little art galleries. There's a gallery hop, um, open art galleries. A few days a week. Yeah, you're starting to see just a couple of the buildings of downtown Columbus poking out way there in the distance. So Columbus has a number of skyscrapers and, again, some big companies. It's not a huge downtown, but it's a big enough downtown uh, for a city like Columbus. So I'm going to take a glimpse around the campus. Again, they're always doing construction, always adding new buildings. And there's the stadium, there's the uh, Lincoln and Moral Towers, there's the Medical Center, and then ahead of us, kind of behind all of this, again, is the Ohio State University campus, uh, or the main part of it anyway. So it's tough to give a flavor for Ohio State in half an hour, but we'll try to do it. I hope it's helpful. Again, it would probably take us hours to go through the entire campus. And it's obviously not the same looking at the campus without the students, but at any rate, that's um, a little bit of a glimpse into how the campus is organized and hopefully gives you a flavor for just kind of what it looks and feels like, the scale, the scope, um, kind of what is what direction. Obviously, you should come here and see it yourself if you really want to get a, a real flavor for it. But um, at any rate, I hope that's helpful. And I hope you will subscribe here to Land Speculation on YouTube.